right, so I've got something special for you guys today. Going to do a VO2 max test. Just got word from my buddy Alan who works at the lab. Says we're good to go to vlog in there. So I will catch up with you guys at the lab. We're going to find out my VO2. All right, so we are at the lab. I'm going to be realistic about this. My VO2 is probably going to be between 50 and probably 58. Haven't ran in about a week since the season ended. So I totally forgot spandex, but my boy Alan over here, he's got me covered. Going in the bot pod. Let's go. So I am in just spandex right now. I'm about to hop in the bot pod. Find out my body fat. Alright, just did my vertical. Turns out I'm not so good at jumping high. But who cares? It's done. It's over. Okay, so heart rate monitor, check it out. Can I wear the watch? Oh, I can wear the watch. I'm not showing faces. I can wear the watch though. That's a good thing. I can see at what rate I'm dying. Alright, and check out this little mask. Yeah. Gonna be looking like Bane in here. That was really tough. All right, my last time running the VO2 as a Rutgers player. I want to thank the Rutgers Center for Health and Human Performance. Check them out, guys. All right, got a 55.6 on the VO2 test, so that's right in the range that I was predicting. To compare that, at the beginning of the season, I got a 63 on the VO2 max test. So, big difference. But that's to be expected. To summarize what happens when you get your VO2 max testing done, you are outfitted with a heart rate monitor. It's a strap, it goes around your chest, measures your pulse while you're running. Then they actually put on a blue mask and that's what measures your VO2 max. And then you go on the treadmill and you run till you can't anymore. You run till failure. And that's a good thing, you actually have a harness on so that when you actually fail, catches you so you know you don't go flying off the treadmill but uh it's always an interesting thing to see what it is i was actually happy with my result today uh 55.6 it's not bad not bad i'll take it for uh being out of the season for a week not running for a week and starting to change my diet a little bit trying to bulk up a little bit more but thank you so much guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching the process of getting our VO2 max testing done, and I hope you gained a little bit of knowledge on it. So I will see you guys next time.